Here's the rub. You've got a friend who belongs to the wrong political party, and you take him to lunch to switch them over to your party. So you tell him all the facts, all the arguments, and then by the end of lunch, the theory is they would have switched political parties, but of course, they never do. So influence is very, very difficult, and it's very tough to get our, to get our point across, but I think influence is one of the most important skills that contributes to our success in business. Because if you really think about it, the difference between a leader and a manager is that the leader influences people and gets people to want to do what that leader wants them to do. And the manager sort of tells people what to do because they're the manager and they're more of a, you know, a box checker and keeping track of things. But the leader is the one who energizes the organization and influences people in, in what they do. So the reason that nobody changes their mind at lunch when, when, you, when you've come there with the facts is because the facts don't actually change people's mind. Prior to 9-11, there was a hearing with the FAA on the safety rules, and they were discussing whether or not they should have the cockpits lock and keep the passengers out. And the engineers were arguing that you should. And even though they were absolutely right, and even though the world might be a completely different place today if they had listened, the fact that you're right and the fact that you're right about even very important things doesn't mean that people will listen. Because people don't change their mind because of the facts. Decisions come from emotions, decisions come from our context, decisions come from our motivation um, to listen.